Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, teachers in the audience, and of course, the very special award recipients. Despite everything that you've heard there, I'm actually very humbled to be standing up here tonight and asked to speak at these awards because I'm very privileged to sit amongst youth with such ambition and dedication to your studies. You're so young and I think a lot of the adults in the room um, could learn a thing or two tonight about the dedication and application of your daughters, your sons, your neighbours, your brothers and sisters. I think these KBS awards are a very positive reminder of the young talent that's in our country. Um, I suppose these people are role models and they are the role models of tomorrow. But the one thing that strikes me when I watch them all is they're already leaders. And I say they're leaders and I speak specifically to the students when I say each of you as a student decided that you were going to set, your, your, set yourself a goal when you sat your junior cert. You decided that you were going to set yourself a standard and work towards it and you've clearly reaped the rewards and you're being justified um, and I suppose achieve, your achievements tonight are being justified. You did so by listening in class listening to your teachers, working on your homework, revising behind the scenes when nobody else knew what you were doing. Today's awards are about awarding your contribution to education. And I think that's really, really important because what you've done is you've shown people that if you work hard at something, it doesn't matter about talent, you have to put it to one side. It's the hard work that you have put in has justified and the reason why you have achieved what you've achieved so far. For me, success isn't something that can be defined in a word because there are so many different types of success. For me, success is, is more than just about being the best or you know, getting your A. It's about pushing your own boundaries and challenging your limits. So while business studies is an extremely important subject, and I went on to, to study business for my leaving cert, and I went on to um, undertake a Bachelor of Business here at the University of Limerick for four years. And I sat just up there where that man in the grey is, just below the bar there, you know, like close enough to the front that I could see what's going on, but like you're not too close to the front because, you know, you didn't want to be known as one of those people that sits in the front row. Yeah, you, you know, everybody knows what I mean. You're the, the front of the class people. So I suppose for me, when I was here for the last few years, I've had very special memories and, and everything that I have learned um, throughout my, my time in business, I still apply now, even today. And not just in, in my working life, in my sporting life as well, because a lot of the things I would have learned would have been as simple as, as goal setting, just like these young people here before us. You know, you hear, I'm sure all of you have heard of the SMART principles. So you set yourself a goal that's specific, it has to be measurable, and it has to be achievable, realistic, and has to be timely. And I think everybody in life does that because when you set out at the start of every year, like, you know, for example, New Year's resolutions, which I hope all of you have still kept, um, you do set yourself a goal and you have to work towards it. That's what I was taught during my time um, at the University of Limerick. It was about setting yourself a goal and working towards it. Um, and, you know, Dr. Philip referred earlier about, you know, thinking about your dreams and learning to fulfil them. And UL was one of those places where they promoted um, thinking about your dreams and, and setting about pursuing them. And it didn't matter what your dream was. For some of you, it was to achieve an A in business studies. Whereas for some of you, it might be to move from getting a D in maths to getting a C in maths. And if you are capable of doing that, then that's also success. So it's not necessarily about always being the best and always getting the A, it's about continuously improving. And that's in all facets of life. I mean, for me in sport at such a young age, I would have started out in the Cork Senior Camogie team when I was just 16, a lot of you probably around the same age. And I learned quite quickly about improving it. And, and it was no good staying in your own comfort zone and being happy with being yourself and, and being good. You were constantly being pushed to be better. And if that was only 1% better, then that's all they wanted out of you. So even if you were beating the girl next to you in sprints and you were happy enough for beating her in sprints, you had to look to your right, and the girl that was constantly beating you, you now had to try and catch. And that was the mentality that I grew up in. And when I moved into UL, it was continuously the mentality because we had this thing as a curve. And every year you prayed to God, the curve was quite low because if the curve was high, it meant you had to achieve absolutely your maximum to make sure that you were getting high enough grades, that your parents at home were happy, that they were funding you in UL and that you were actually working hard enough. So all the time it was about striving to be better. And that is the one thing I would say to every young person here tonight. 
like business studies for me was something that I use now and like last year in 2015 I would have moved from working in an environment in a corporate world with Dell uh, for, in four, for four years in PR and marketing and I was very very happy but I felt that you know what there is something else out there and I kind of want to see how how it is and how it goes for me and if I can if I can achieve it so when I left in 2015 um, and I decided to embark on a brand new adventure I had no idea what I was doing, I had no idea where I was going, but I knew I wanted to push myself and try something different, potentially setting myself up for failure. Um, but I think from sport, I learned that failure is not a weakness. Um, and I think it's one of the facets in life where it's not seen as a weakness because every sports person and anyone that you know that has achieved in sport has failed at some stage. And failure can be used as a strength rather than a weakness. It pushes you on. And any sports person each has their own story, but those that have achieved most in life will tell you that it's their failures have ultimately driven them on more than their, their wins or their achievements. I can recall more All-Irelands than I have I've lost than I've won. And it's always those are in the back of my mind and I always wish and I always think back to them and say, what could I have done better to achieve? What could I have done better there to improve? You rarely look at the wins because they're there, you know, the win is there, whereas it's, you learn more from your failures. And um, I was speaking recently actually with uh, the world boxing champion, Bernard Dunn. And he said that his mentality was there's only two outcomes in life and that's winning and learning. And I thought it was a really, it was a brilliant message to give to younger people as well, particularly in the education sector, that it doesn't matter if you fall short at a hurdle or fall short, it's about constantly learning from it and moving forward. So for those of you that are deciding to take business and other subjects in trade leaving search, and I do hope you take business because it's one of those subjects that you, you learn forever more from regardless of what you do. Be prepared for, for obstacles and be prepared for challenges. And don't be afraid to embrace them because we talk so much about successes all the time. And you are here tonight and you're honoured for your successes and rightly so. But for me, you're being rewarded more so for what you've done behind the closed doors. But like the times that you've gone up and done your homework and you've struggled with a problem, you've struggled with a, quest, a question. And it's how you've overcome that is ultimately the reason why you're here. Because inside the exam, when you looked at a question and you panicked, like I have on plenty of occasions for about 10 seconds, because suddenly you realise, I, I don't know the answer to this question. Setting yourself that goal, that you, what you have achieved, you've decided that you're going to work towards it. And you sit down and you calmly think through what it is that you need to do to be able to answer that question properly. You adapt. Failure teaches you to adapt because you can't have the skill sets in life for everything that you're going to try and accomplish. And that doesn't matter. And if you fail, then you adapt. And that's the whole idea of, of I suppose, of these kind of awards. It's, it's celebrating the successes that you've had but equally, it's, it's celebrating who you are as people, the attitudes that you've developed. And the reason why you've, you've succeeded is because you have been willing to push yourself out of your comfort zone. And if in any time that you've needed to, you've been able to adapt. I think all of you here today are going to go on to, to massive things. I think, you know, we heard talking about the, the importance in society of people in business because you know there is a massive uh, emphasis on, on science and maths and, and different areas and, and they are very important but for me even now I'm in, in media and broadcasting and people might say well you know what has that got to do with business every single day I use what I've learned in business in some way shape or form whether it's about planning and organizing goal setting whether it's about your networking even when I decided to become a self-employed all the year and I was like being a sole trader or bat, being bat, bat registered, all the boring stuff that anyone self-employed here knows that I'm slowly starting to find out. All of that, I didn't realise how much of it had actually taken in. So when I was sitting back up in that seat up there, I obviously was taking in more than I realised because every day I go back to the knowledge that I gained as a business student here in the University of Limerick. The knowledge that I gained in my Leaving Cert and Junior Cert in, in St Mary's in Charville where I went to school. And I, I always draw on it. And I'll always say to people that of everything I've achieved, when I received that award last November from the University of Limerick Alumni Association for my contribution to sport, it was probably the greatest thing that I've, I, can, I can say that I've ever achieved. Because what I was doing, it was the college that I've gone to for four years has recognised my contribution, not just to education, but society at large. Because sport plays a crucial part um, in people's lives and I suppose the lessons that you learn from sport stand to you long after you've, you've left your sporting arena, as long after you've retired. What you've learned at a young age now and how you've applied yourselves in education is going to stand to each of you 
not necessarily just in education, but in your lives long after, in your careers, in your family, and just making your life better. Because when you learn it from a young age, it's like babies learning to swim. You don't have as much fear. And the older you get, the more fear you develop for fear that you might fail, for fear of stepping out of that comfort zone. So what I can say now is what you've learned, building it and develop it. And don't be afraid to try new things because ultimately, even if you fail, all you're going to do is learn. And I'm going to leave you with, in sport, each of you, if you were on a team, would be known as game changers. You're the people that take things by the scruff of the neck and you change situations. In businesses, I'm sure you're going to be known as mind changers. You're going to change the perceptions of how people think about products or people think about technology, you know, and whether it's through a good selfie or through a good innovation, I'm sure that you will all be capable of doing that. In society, you can be life changers. You can be the people that make this world a better place to live in. And it can be starting now. You don't have to wait until you're seen as an adult. You can start now. You can use your creativity and use your minds, use your determination and your ambition to make this place and make this world a better place. And it's only by asking yourself two questions. And every single time anybody successful goes out in life, they only need to ask themselves two questions. Am I able? And if I'm able, am I willing? And if you an the answer to both those questions is yes, then I have no doubt that you will be here back in those gowns in years to come, receiving your first class honours or whatever it is, your awards from the likes of University of Limerick and other universities around the country. And you can be the difference in this world. But make it happen because you clearly have the talent. It's just about the hard work. Thank you very much.